A leaked image suggests DJI isn't abandoning the familiar cine hoop form factor. The Avatar 3 looks like Avatar 2 at a glance, but with some purposeful reshaping. The camera module up front seems larger, which hints at a bigger sensor and optics package. Battery placement reportedly moves to the rear, opening space for that enlarged camera block and removing the need for the orange bumper treatment seen before. Another notable design rumor is a shift to four-blade props. Most sinew hoops play with tri-blade or five-blade configurations to balance thrust, noise, and efficiency. Four-blade props can increase static thrust and responsiveness, which is welcome for tight, low-altitude flying where you want to bite on the sticks. They can also raise noise and draw more current. If the four-blade setup is real, DJI is likely tuning motor KV and PID logic to keep prop wash in check and maintain that smooth, confident hover fans expect from the Avatar line. What else do we know? Early chatter puts the weight around 145 to 162 grams with guards. That number looks optimistic for a ducted, gimbal-toting, feature-rich DJI drone. It is more plausible that this figure refers to a sub-assembly or pre-production target rather than a boxed, battery-in, ready-to-fly weight. Still, the direction of travel is clear. DJI wants more agility without giving up Sinhoop safety. Expect a shell that remains crash-tolerant, ducks that resist warping, and a top plate that better protects the gimbal in forward tumbles. If the center of gravity shifts rearward with the battery, DJI will likely counter with PID tuning so the drone still feels neutral and predictable on pitch. This is the headline change. Multiple whispers point to a 1-inch CMOS sensor, replacing the 1 over 1.3-inch unit in Avatar 2. Moving up to a full 1-inch would be a big deal for low light, dynamic range, and color fidelity. It means cleaner shadows at dawn and dusk, smoother roll-offs and highlights, and more latitude for colorists who push footage hard and post. Pair that with a faster, likely wider lens, and you get the two upgrades FPV filmmakers crave most. Better night performance and a more cinematic look without resorting to heavy denoising. Heat and data rates spike, rolling shutter must be tamed, and lens size grows. The leaked, beefier camera housing matches those realities. If DJI couples the sensor with refined color science and smarter auto exposure, you can expect more natural skin tones indoors and steadier exposure rides during fast transitions, like blasting from a sunlit street into a shaded market. The rumor to watch is 4K at 120 frames per second. That's a meaningful jump over common 4K 60 pipelines in compact drones. For FPV work, 4K-120 lets you retain resolution while slowing time enough to accentuate motion, sweeping around architecture, sliding through alleys, or tracking athletes without compromising detail. The codec and bitrate will matter just as much. To hold up to grading, 10-bit recording is expected, ideally with profiles like D-Log-M and an HDR option for creators who want quick turnarounds. If DJI can deliver robust 10-bit 420 or higher at 4K 120 with minimal artifacts, editors will have room to push contrast and hue without banding. Thermals are the hidden constraint. Sustained 4K 120 in a compact, ducted frame stresses both the processor and the battery. The enlarged camera block and rear battery placement may help heat dissipation. Even so, expect DJI to impose clip length limits at the highest modes just as many hybrid cameras do, to keep temps in check in hot weather. Rocksteady 3.0 Plus and Horizon Steady are rumored to return with refinements. In practice, that means better micro jitter control and gusts, cleaner edges on fast low passes and steadier horizons when you're not flying full acro. The combination of mechanical tuning, gyro accuracy, and smarter filtering is what gives Avatar footage its signature buttery feel while keeping prop guards and ducks out of frame. If DJI can also improve motion cadence, how frames interrelate at high shutter speeds, slow motion clips will look less brittle and more cinematic, even before post-stabilization. Projected flight time lands around 23 to 25 minutes. 
broadly in line with Avatar 2 but potentially more stable across aggressive throttle changes thanks to drivetrain refinements. Cine whoops are notoriously hard on batteries, especially with denser prop setups. If four-blade props are real, expect DJI to offset with improved motor efficiency and smarter power curves so voltage sag doesn't kill top-end performance mid-run. A rear-mounted battery could also simplify swaps and reduce the chance of gimbal bumps during hurried changes on set. O4 transmission is rumored with up to 13km FCC line-of-sight range and lower latency. In the real world, legal limits and interference matter more than headline numbers. But any jump in link robustness is welcome for reliability in urban canyons and through light foliage. Compatibility talk points to DJI Goggles 4 as the primary headset, while some notes mention Goggles 3 as well. It's reasonable to expect Avatar 3 to prioritize the newest Goggles and RC Motion 3 controller with backward compatibility determined by firmware. Better antennas, smarter channel hopping, and cleaner compression will do more for image quality than raw range for most pilots. Rumors point to ActiveTrack 6.0, quick transfer upgrades, and even AI-assisted editing hooks in the DJI Fly app. Subject tracking in an FPV context is tricky, but it could shine for semi-guided lines where you want the drone to keep a person centered while you focus on speed and path. Quick transfer speed bumps are more than a convenience. For fast-moving shoots, shaving minutes off offloads saves real money. If DJI adds VR compatibility or richer timeline tools, the Avatar ecosystem becomes friendlier for creators who want to deliver straight from mobile without round-tripping to a desktop NLE. With August 2025 rumors running hot, a near-term reveal would fit DJI's cadence, but supply dynamics and overlapping launches can shift dates. Strategically, Avatar 3's mission seems clear. Keep DJI dominant in the Cinehoop for Everyone category while raising the ceiling for pros who want cleaner images and stronger slow motion. That means focusing on reliability and image quality first, then sprinkling smart features without burying pilots in menus. If DJI nails the balance, Avatar 3 will feel less like a toy for hobbyists and more like a legitimate tool for paid gigs in real estate, tourism, live events, and social content. If you live in low light, love dramatic slow motion, or often deliver graded pieces, the leap to a 1-inch sensor and 4K 120 could be worth it on day one. The same goes if you've been burned by link instability in dense environments and want the best O4 implementation DJI offers. Pilots who fly mostly in daylight, deliver straight to social and are happy at 4K 60, may find Avatar 2 still nails their brief, especially if DJI backports parts of the AI feature set by firmware. For newcomers, Avatar 3 looks like the safer long-term buy because it stacks more headroom for growth without giving up the protective Cinehoop style.